Hello people, this is Noel from creationeffects.com and welcome to the very first After Effects quick tutorial of what I hope will be many more to come. I'll try to do a new one each week. And the reason I'm doing this is because there are many awful, horrible things going on in the world, but few as serious or as awful as a video tutorial it takes 20 minutes to show you something that should only take one minute. So I want to give useful tips that are to the point and I'm already wasting your valuable time so let's get to it. I'm going to show you a quick and easy trick to color correct your footage and anybody can do it. I'm even colorblind and I do this on almost every shot that I work with. To demonstrate it, I went through my home movies and I got the worst, ugliest footage I could find. Ooh. So this is not color balanced. Everything is orange and you can see the frame on the window here should be white and it's not even close. Obviously I shot this long ago when I was but a young lad who didn't know anything. And so to fix it, I'll select my footage and I'll go to effects and go to color correction and choose the levels effect. And here we have what's called a histogram. It's on RGB by default, which means red, green, blue. But we want to adjust the red, green, and blue channels individually. So we'll select the red channel first. And now you see this red wave or mountain shape representing the red channel in our video. And ideally, the perfect footage would have this nice smooth hill shape where it starts to slope up on this end and it comes down at this end here. And then a peak somewhere near the middle. Now you can see that this wave goes all the way to the end on this side, but on this side it stops short. There's no information here. And I can't slide the edge of this mountain to the end, but I can slide the end to the edge of the mountain. And I do that just by dragging this left arrow over to where the mountain starts. And next I'll go to the green channel, and I'll do the same thing here. And the other side needs it too. And I'll go to the blue channel. And this channel is really screwed up. You can see all the blue channel information is way on the left. And since the left side represents dark pixels in your footage and the right side represents the bright pixels in your footage, this blue channel must be really dark. And we can even look at the blue channel here. See? Dark. So let's do our thing again and bring this arrow all the way over. I'll go back to seeing the full RGB channel here. And there we have it. That looks much better than before, and if I turn the effect off and on again, you can see the difference it made. This trick will improve your footage probably 90% of the time, so it's a good tip to know. And real quick, if you're still not totally pleased, you can take it a step further. Remember how I said the peak or the bulk of the mountain would ideally be near the middle here? Well, it's clearly not in this case, so what we can do is drag the midtones, and that's this middle arrow here, just a little bit over in the direction of the peak. And I'll do that with each channel, and not too much. And the blue channel, I'll go until the skin tones look pretty good. And there you have it. Not only is it color corrected, but we fixed the exposure as well. You can subscribe to learn lots more practical tips and after effects. And that's it for now. I'll see you later.